Okay, so we got a problem. I'm trying to do the episode for Banjo Kazooie, and I'm realizing now that I've got two options, and neither one of them is all that great. So I need the community to decide what I'm going to be doing here. <laughs> um, so basically, we got three options. I'm going to let you guys vote down below. The first option is, well, to put Banjo Kazooie aside so that we can move on to a different episode, and then maybe in the future, when the options are a little better for Banjo-Kazooie, we can go back to it. And well, the other two options are basically how I decide to run the episode. On one hand, I can play Banjo-Kazooie on one program, and it's typically what you see a Boundary Break episode on. It has really crisp resolution, you can move the camera fluidly, but for Banjo-Kazooie, there are drawbacks. See, there's this feature in gaming called culling. And what culling does is that when something is off camera, it makes all objects vanish so that it can save data on the game. Banjo Kazooie is really good at this, a little too good. So it's really, really hard to do any boundary breaking with it because I have to be looking directly at any object that I essentially want a boundary break. Otherwise, it'll just disappear. Now, this could cause me to miss some things, it could set limitations for things like cutscenes it's not desired. And there's other things as well, like textures will just randomly disappear on certain objects. It's not pretty, it's not working right, which is what led me to check out option B. Now option B is another program, and this program has its own set of limitations. For one thing, I can't use the camera the same way I do with the first program. The camera is very stiff, and essentially for you, the viewer, the camera is going to be very rigid, so the experience is going to look almost like it's lagging when it's not really. It's just it's just not a smooth experience. The other thing that really bugs me is that I can't seem to figure out how to get the resolution to look as good as it does on the first program. So it has as much anti-aliasing. And what aliasing basically does is it turns a straightened 3D polygonal model into almost like a staircase. PC gamers are probably very familiar with this. And on the program that I use, Basically, I use the highest amount of anti-aliasing as possible to make the games look as smooth and clean as possible. Now, if we go with this alternative route, I can't figure out how to apply anti-aliasing, so it looks about as muddy as it does on the actual Nintendo 64. But the advantages to using this program is that the culling is removed for the most part. So we can actually see more aspects of the game than we could if we used the first program. <laughs> but are you starting to see where I'm a little bit conflicted? Because on one hand, you have a very nice presentation. Also other tools that help me get through the episode faster, like fast forwards and all that stuff. But then on the other hand, there's a chance to actually see more objects for boundary break, but it's a lot tougher and more rigid. It's basically going to make the episode take longer to come out. Now, some of you might suggest that I just use both. And while that would make a lot of sense, I just can't do that. That would basically mean that I'd have to beat the game twice. And I just don't have enough free time. So this will be the first poll that I actually vote in. And my vote's going to be going towards just putting the game aside for now. But I don't want to let anybody down. So if you as the audience collectively decide that you're okay with one option or the other, then feel free to vote in the poll down below, and I'll work this out accordingly. Otherwise, we're going to move on to Beautiful Joe, then the special video that I had in mind, and then we'll work on the next Voted On video. But hey, sorry that this is kind of a disappointing video. <laughs> I hate when stuff like this happens. It makes me, makes me feel like I'm handing out false promises. But I want to hear what you guys think, and we'll work this out together. Alright guys, take care.